I'm live? Okay, awesome. Hello everybody, my name is SmartAleck24, and this is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for the Sega Genesis. Um, this game is amazing. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna jump right into it and I'll talk about the game as we go. Um, so I'm playing on easy, and uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started here. I'll make sure the timer's working and everything. Alright, three, two, one, go. Okay. Alright. So, in this game you play as Michael Jackson, and your goal is to save children who have been kidnapped by Mr. Big. He is the villain of the game. So, this game is based off of the movie Moonwalker, and I'll go ahead and just tell everybody right now, I have not seen it. But if it's good, I might check it out if I can. So, there are five worlds in this game, and then there's like a sixth world, or like a, a final boss. So, this is the first boss, or really when I say bosses, I mean it's just a group of enemies who are trying to attack us and take us out. Um, so we have a spin attack, and we have a melee attack, and the melee attack shoots like, um, like, you know, like, magic, or sparkles, or whatever. So I'm just gonna slide down that, and I'm gonna try to take all these guys out, we did it. Alright. So, I am using maps. I have maps up on my computer right now to show me the locations of all the kids because uh, I have trouble remembering where they all are. So, in case you hear me typing something on the keyboard, that's me going to the next map. So, I'm gonna try to jump upstairs if possible. Ah! Oh. So, to open doors and later on to like open windows and stuff, you need to hold up and, uh,. You have to... where you need to stand is a little confusing, or at least a little different, compared to wherever you are. So, uh, I'll point those out if I can. Also, you noticed in the last level, I'm gonna do it again here, if you hold down your spin attack for a little bit, um, you get, like, a, uh, you can throw your hat, and that deals a lot of damage. So... Um, another thing about the spin attack, your melee attack doesn't cost you any health, but your ma your spin attack does. So, I can't just spin the entire game and win, that doesn't work, it's gonna cost some health. The way you get health back is you need to, uh, you need to rescue kids. Uh, hold on, I missed one. I'm glad I have maps, otherwise I would've forgotten. Ah, got stuck there. And by the way, um, this game's soundtrack is amazing because it's Michael Jackson music. So yeah, if I go quiet, just listen to the music, okay? <laughs> by the way, I'm gonna preface this now. If I ever say Michael Jordan at any point, it's because I also speedrun a game called Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City. I actually did it three years ago for Retrothon. And so, uh, yeah. To be fair, both of them are amazing people, so. <laughs> there we go. Alright. By the way, something to point out. Normally that monkey tells you where to go to do the boss fight. If you touch Mr. Big while he's on the screen, um, you, uh, you take damage. Okay, three and a half minutes in World 1's not too bad, so now we're going to World 2. Uh, by the way, that first song, in case you're curious, was Smooth Criminal. This one is Beat It. I think World 2's probably my favorite one in the game. Um, another thing is that you'll notice that I am jumping and then spinning. If I just stand still, I'll show it off later. Um, if you stand still in melee, um, it, it's just slower to do that. So, um, you want to be jumping and attacking. Um, like, you know, like that, that, that wastes a little bit of time, so. Alright. I'm just gonna take these guys out, no big deal. Uh, by the way, that last boss fight- oops, didn't mean to throw my hat, that's okay. No worries. 
2-2. All right. We're in the parking garage now. So yeah, just making our way through, no big deal. Uh, we're gonna free this one, and then we're going back to the elevator to go up. And here we go. So I'm playing on easy difficulty. Um, on higher difficulties, uh, you uh, take more damage. I don't know if there's any other changes. I've I've played normal a little bit. I've never run it though. Um, but uh, yeah, we're playing on easy. Uh, there are other versions of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. There's the arcade version, which I think most people are familiar with. But there's also a Master System version, and I believe there's a DOS version, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that. Um, but uh, this is the one I'm most familiar with. And uh, I, yeah, this, this game, like, you know, th this game's just amazing. I highly recommend this one. It's not a super glitchy speedrun or anything like that, but it's just very fun to do fast. And plus, you get to listen to amazing music as you play. Like, you, you can't ask for anything better. Alright. So I've got to make a jump coming up. Hopefully I get it. Alright. And if I didn't mention before, um, or just to remind everybody, uh, you get health by freeing kids. So, got to make that jump there. Okay. This is a little laggy just because there's a lot of enemies, but we're okay. Okay, so this boss is random. This could either be done in two seconds or it'll take a minute. Um, okay, that that was okay. Not my not my best or anything, but that was okay. All right, world three, everybody. Now, right off the bat. There are some zombies here, and you might be thinking, oh, Thriller, right? Thriller's not playing in this world, and you're probably wondering, that was such a missed opportunity, why didn't they include Thriller? Well, they did, but I'll talk about it later, what happened. Real quick, so I don't have chat up right now, so I'm just gonna trust you guys. If you have a dancing emote, get ready to post it. Get ready. As soon as I say go, I want you to- I want everybody to spam their dancing emote, whatever it is. And... Go! If you use half of your spin magic, you can do that dance sequence. Alright, this level is arguably the- one of the hardest, so I might focus in a little bit. Let me do this real quick. Uh, okay, I'm waiting for that to go away. Don't worry about that star yet, it'll show up later and then I'll explain it then. So, in the meantime, let me explain the whole Thriller situation. Thriller actually was in this game at first. It was in the prototype of this game. Um, but it was in before Sega got the rights to the music. Um, so basically, they, uh, they assumed at first that it would be okay to go ahead and use, uh... Hold on a minute, I'm a little confused here. <laughs> okay. I'm playing this a little safe because I took too much damage. Um, but then, they heard back and they said, you can use any music that Michael Jackson himself wrote. Well, here's a little trivia for you. Michael Jackson did not write Thriller. Rod Temperton did. So they had to take Thriller out. So you're probably thinking, oh, well, you know, they took Thriller out, they put in another part of me, which is still a great song. Well, here's another little Easter egg or a uh, bit of trivia for you. If you have version 0, if you have revision 0 of this game, you have Thriller in it. If you do the dance sequence in World 3 on revision 0, a little snippet of Thriller plays. Because the developers forgot to take it out! So yeah, there you go. There's your history lesson today. That's why Thriller is... It was, but then it got taken out of this game. 
Uh, I will say, if you do want to listen to it, there is video footage of it. Somebody dumped the prototype online, so... If you want to listen to what the whole Thriller song sounds like, it's out there. By the way, uh, zombies take two hits to kill. It's a little annoying. Um, they can get in your way pretty... ...quickly. Um... Okay, good. I almost missed that. It's not a big deal if I mess that up, but, uh... Okay, so we're almost out of World 3. I'm gonna try to kill this boss... Uh, hopefully quickly, but if I do, if I miss this, it's gonna take a while. Um, so I'm gonna attack, and just, they're gonna get stuck here, so I'm just gonna melee them until they die. And that's World 3. Alright, World 4. And now we got Billy Jean going. Look at that. So this world, you need to go into these caves and find the kids and save them. Um, it can be very confusing to find where they are if you're doing this game blind without any maps or anything. Uh, you can memorize them, but I actually have trouble with that. Um, when I started using, like, a map for this game, I saved two minutes just because of that. <laughs> really three, but yeah. Um, okay. And also those spider emblems on the wall, uh, those will be important later as well, these other emblems. Uh, I don't know what they are, admittedly, but, uh... Um, by the way, I want to show off something, if I can remember to, after I save this kid. There we go. I missed a kid. I think I know which one, though. That's okay, that's not a big deal. Not a big deal. You can moonwalk in this game, and it's actually useful in a couple places. Normally this web slows you down, but I'm walking through it without a problem. There's gonna be a couple other uses of that later though, so uh, stay tuned for that. So I'm just taking out some enemies off screen, and then we're gonna throw the hat, take out some guys there. Okay. Well, except for that one little mishap, that's okay. Alright, everybody, this is the longest level in the run. This one, it's just under three minutes, at least for me. So, uh, sit back uh, and enjoy some Michael Jackson jams. I am curious, though. Um, Uh-oh, hang on, my video feed is doing something weird. If it gets really bad, I'll fix it. My Genesis cables get a little messy sometimes, but I'll fix it if I have to. Okay, I'll fix it. Okay. Marathon luck, am I right? But I am curious, um... What is... Everybody in chat, what's your favorite Michael Jackson song? If you have one. Okay, I took a couple hits while I was fixing that, so I'll try to be careful here. Keyword try. Oops, this is the wrong one. I'm gonna just take my time there, I don't want to die. <laughs> So if you hold up on those spider emblems, you can open it up, or you can moonwalk past them. Either works. Okay, we're getting close. Wouldn't be a marathon without something going a little wrong, right? <laughs> uh, these... And I don't know what these are, but you need to destroy them with a spin attack. If you don't have... Oh, I should probably mention this. If you don't have any, if you if your health bar is red, you can't use your spin attack, and your melee attack will not have any magic. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but you can still open those types of doors uh, with uh, 
by using, in, at least in my case, the A button. I, I play on standard controls just because it makes the most sense to me. So I'm going to moonwalk past the web. I'm going to just get rid of that. We don't need the rock. That rock can kill enemies, but, uh... Alright, this fight can be a little off. Um, I'm just going to stay here and just take out these zombies like so. And plus we've got these little spiders coming up and their hitboxes are tiny. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. 240, nah. Not my best, it's okay. All right, another fairly lengthy level. Pretty much it for this world as far as like stuff to talk about. Um, oops. Or no, it's it's this one. Like I said, I forget things, so I have I have trouble remembering things. There's actually a kid behind the waterfall here. Is my cable doing the thing again? Luckily it's a quick fix in case it does that, but still, it's annoying. <laughs> it's like, not now. Billie Jean is not my love. She's just a girl who says that I am the one. But the kid is not my son. Says I am the one, but the kid is not my son. Alright, that's all you get, chat. That's all you get. So, making our way through here. You know, I think I'm gonna try to fix that in the cutscene. There's a cutscene after this. I mean, I skip them all, but it's, I'm still gonna have enough time. Hashtag marathon luck. So we're gonna take out some enemies here. Then we're just gonna push that rock, and that'll kill a lot of enemies there. Do it again. Okay. Just for good measure, it'll be... Okay. Alright, World 5! Oh, and I forgot a kid already. That's fine, I'll go back and get him later. It's that That's the one kid I forget the most, so... Of course it happens now. And it's... Oh my god. <laughs> that was perfect timing, by the way. I come back and he shoots a laser at me. Okay. I promise you my... My, uh... My Genesis is not gonna explode. Might need to invest in some new cables, though. Or, nope. So, yeah, these are teleporters. Pretty self explanatory. Who's bad? Alright, I'll get that kid. I got an idea. Uh, I know where they are. Um, they're right underneath these stairs. Alright. So I'm gonna go up here. Hopefully the enemies spawn up here by me doing this. Um, it doesn't matter too much, but I find it to be a little bit easier to go ahead and just do that. Okay. All right, this next level is arguably, well, the level itself isn't terrible, but this is arguably the hardest boss 
at least for me. So, uh, this should be a doozy. <laughs> So yeah, these turrets shooting lasers at us are incredibly annoying. And, uh... You'll see why they're a problem later. So, what I'm gonna do... Is I'm actually gonna destroy these turrets. And the reason why is because the boss fight's gonna be, um... Uh in this general area, and they can still shoot you and kill you. And I've lost a lot of runs that way, and I do not want this marathon to uh, have an additional, you know, 70 hours attached onto it because I can't do this fight, so. All right. So you can actually moonwalk, and you can move backwards on that moving platform, whatever it is. I don't know what those are called. But anyways, this fight is kind of silly. So there's three of these green enemies. All I'm doing is just trying to kill two of them off the left side. We got it, okay. That's not gonna work, okay. Actually, hang on. Okay. That usually goes worse. So, <laughs> I'm actually kind of happy about that. Alright. Uh, second to last level. And something really cool we're gonna do for this boss fight. Uh, what I'm doing, what I'm gonna do is actually a little slower. But, I don't care, it's cool. So we're doing it. Three more. So this boss fight coming up, we're gonna be attacked by a ton of green enemies that we just fought. Um, they could be a problem, but what I'm gonna do is just press C. And then... This happens. And now, we are a giant mech, and we're gonna start killing these things. So, my spin has been replaced by shooting those rockets, and then my melee has been replaced by, uh, this laser. However, you can still take damage in this, and still die! So, I can't just screw around here, I still have to actually, like, kill these enemies. I am not going to, uh, use rockets anymore, just because of my health. Okay, we got through it at least. Alright, last level, and this level's completely different from the entire rest of the game. We just have to shoot down the boss's plane. So his is the green one. So, the crosshairs aren't completely amazing. I like to actually look at my shots and try to line them up that way. I find it to be more helpful. Not bad. Uh, ju we just missed a PB by, like, 15 seconds, but that's okay. Uh, so yeah, as soon as it says congratulations, and that's time. 2335, I'm happy about that. I think my, yeah, my PB, I think, is 2322, so... Only 15 off is not bad at all. I did forget a couple things, and we had a couple slow boss fights. Um, the rest of that, can't complain. Um, so yeah, that's the Genesis version of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, y'all, if you want a fairly easy Genesis speedrun to pick up, I can recommend this one. Um, 
it's this this game's a lot of fun. I like it a lot. <laughs> Um, shoutouts to Jugarial for actually introducing me to this game. Uh, when I first got my EverDrive, he told me to try this game, and I'm like... Uh, I'm, literally, my first words were, you can't be serious. But then, now I can say, he was serious. This game is awesome. Okay, I don't have anything else to talk about now. Um, I'll be back on Wednesday to play some Kickmaster, in case anybody's interested. Um, but the rest of the week, there are a ton of great runs coming up. So, I hope you all stay tuned for those. Um... Yeah, that's it. Thanks, RGL, for letting me show this one off. And uh, thank you, everybody, uh, watching. I appreciate it. Take care.